we are tracking those snowstorms. They are going to be rolling in in the afternoon. And we have a major cool down on the way as well as snow accumulation. So growing up in Kalispell, the first snow always was right around Halloween. Looks like this year it's going to be a little bit uh, before that. Now Halloween next week, we'll see. Hopefully the kiddos don't have to dress up in snowsuits this year. Now we are seeing a little bit of fog out there in the Helena area. It is chilly. It feels like 29 degrees out there, but it feels even cooler in the Great Falls area this morning, seeing some fog over there as well. 16 degrees is what it feels like, and that's partially because of that breeze is kicking at 13 miles per hour. Now, looking at the radar this morning, there are some scattered showers towards southeastern Montana, uh, but really not seeing a whole lot of wet activity this morning. That's all going to change this afternoon and evening. Again, closer into the Great Falls area, it looks like we could get a little bit of a cluster of precipitation towards the north there on the way to uh, Chester. Now we have active weather anticipated for this afternoon and evening. That's why we have all these weather alerts in effect, a winter storm warning as well as a winter storm watch and a winter weather advisory. So a lot going on here. And really that's just to remind us that with this incoming snowy weather, that's really going to roll in tonight and hit us through Wednesday, Thursday. Roads are going to be dangerous. That country conditions are going to be rough. And we really just want to use a lot of caution here in the coming days. So let's walk through this system. Of course, this morning seeing a little bit of precipitation, a little bit of fog and a little bit of uh, cloud cover. But that cloud cover will extend a little bit uh, thicker this afternoon and evening. And that snow will start to accumulate and push on south into northwestern Montana. So we are going to have that activity really ramp up this afternoon, really when you're going home from work or sitting down to have dinner. And at first, the precipitation is going to be kind of that wet snow mix. Now, it won't be quite cold enough for snow to just heavily fall down. But overnight, temperatures are going to be dropping to 30 a.m. And we're going to see a widespread snow here in the Helena and Great Falls area, really throughout western Montana by the time we wake up tomorrow. So a lot of us are going to wake up to snow accumulation for Wednesday. Now into Thursday, we'll see another round of snow push on into the region. So expect a couple of days here to feel quite winter like. I mean, I'm just personally really excited for snow season. And how could you not be with this uh, extensive system that is expected to roll on into Montana over the coming days starting here tonight? Here's a look at some of those snow totals we are anticipating through Thursday, upwards of a foot near Great Falls and Helena, a little bit less than that in the Cup Bank and Haver area. Lewistown and Glasgow also getting their fair share of snow. So today's temperatures are going to be chilly, but not so cold compared to Wednesday into Thursday when we are looking at highs in the 20s and teens. So a significant change up here uh, with this weather system. So get ready, turn the heat on, grab those extra layers when you're heading out the door. And remember to, of course, grab a hot coffee because it is chilly out there. All right, temperatures dropping all the way down to the teens.